Hi, welcome back. Happy Monday. Today is actually the day that the solar eclipse was happening. So if you watched that, go ahead and let us know down below what you thought about it. Uh, did you get the total coverage? We did not here in Michigan. It was just really bright out. It got a little dark, but nothing too crazy. Um, but I'm really curious to hear about some of your experiences with that. And also, if this is your first time here, my name is Maddie Wade, and this is my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment on this video. Turn your notification bells on so that you get a notification every time I post a video. So today, what I'm going to be showing you is this is actually kind of fun. It's a little bit different, something that I don't typically do is destroy my cute palettes but I'm going to today for you so that you can see that you can use these multiple different ways. So this is the 60th anniversary eyeshadow palette by Mary Kay. It's super adorable. I love the palette that it comes in. It shows you all four colors on the back. If you have not seen me demo this, go back and check out some of my videos. I have a playlist and it includes all of the limited edition makeup that I have demoed here on this YouTube channel. So if you go in there, you're gonna find all of these tutorials. Um, you can also just scroll through my page as well and kind of just as you scroll through it, you'll see some of the different ways that I use this. So I have used this by itself. So just these palette colors, you can see how cute they are too. They're so pretty. There's four colors in here. There is a burgundy, it's called burgundy crown. There's this light purple. It's this one is a Le <laughs> Legacy Lilac. I knew it was a lilac. Then we've got Iconic Pink. And then we also have up here Pink Diamonds. So we've got some really pretty colors here. I like that it has a little bit of a mirror too. So then if you are like in the car or you're traveling, you can look right in your mirror and you can do your makeup and you don't need anything else. So I do love this palette. And I know when I told you guys, hey, I'm sorry, my dog is licking Cooper. Stop. My dog is Cooper <laughs> and he likes to sit with me while I do my videos. Sometimes he drives me crazy because he'll lick or he'll be chewing his toys and they're squeaking. So if you ever hear something in the background, it's my dog. <laughs> he's a cute little black dog, but um, sometimes he's a little noisy. Anyway, so these these colors they're so so cute I have loved them I've been using them so many different ways so you can use all four of them together you can also use just one color with other colors paired with it um, or you can mix and match you can do a couple of these colors with a couple of the regular chroma fusion colors however you want but I have absolutely loved using these colors. I've been using all four of them in different ways. Today, what I did was I actually did a, I only used three colors here. I used this burgundy crown color, so you can see it in the outer part. So that's the pink color. It's a little bit darker on the outside. And then on the inside, on my lid, I used candlelight, which is right here. It's kind of a pretty, it's not gold. It's not rose gold. It's almost like a sparkly sand color, if that makes sense. And then I also used crystalline, which is right here. And that's that pretty bright white color right in the inner corner. So we've got the crystalline and then we've got the um, right here is the candlelight. And then out here we have that burgundy crown. So those are the colors that we have today. Um, and those are the colors that I used. So now I want to show you though that you can actually take this out of the palette and you do not have to leave it in the palette. So you can bust this palette open and it will be just like any of these other colors in here. So these colors are all magnetic. They all pop right out. So here, let me show you. So this is like that crystalline that I just showed you, but it's a magnetic eyeshadow. The blushes are the same way. So you can pop out the blushes as well. So usually every season, I like to kind of refresh my palette. I like to switch up some new things, put in some new eyeshadows, put in some new blushes. Over here, I've got, let me swap it around for you. It's kind of dirty too. So when I, when I swap everything out, I do clean it nicely. Um, but over here, I've got contour and we've got another contour right here. I'm gonna pop both of those out. So this is the latte. This darker one that I just pulled out is cocoa. This blush that I pulled out is wineberry too, just in case you're curious what colors I'm I'm working with here. Um, I'm gonna pull these out too. So we're just gonna make sure that we have enough space. I They're just gonna take up this space over here. This one is, let's see, Rogue Rose. Such a pretty one, I love that color. 
And then the last one is this highlighter. So this is glazed highlighter. Anyway, we'll just pull all of those out. I'm going to put the crystal line back in though, because I'm not going to need all this room over here. So I'll put that one right back in. But anyway, so now all I've got in here is eyeshadows and they've got this big gaping hole looking for some more eyeshadows to fill it with. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, I know some of you were like, you are crazy. Why would you ever break that palette? Because it's so cute. I have more than one, so don't worry. <laughs> I am still going to have one of these cute little put together palettes after this. Um, but I love these colors so much. I bought multiple palettes for myself just because I love the colors and I don't want to run out of them. They're limited edition. So if you love these colors too, make sure you buy them before they sell out because right now it's on so it's actually been around for a long time. It launched, here, let me tilt this down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, it launched back in September. Right now it is March, no, April. Oh my goodness, it's April. So it is already April. I'm shocked that these are even still around, but they are. They're around for us consultants in the, like, um, well supplies last section. So they're still available, but there's absolutely no clue of how long they're gonna last. So. If you love this palette that I'm showing, if you've liked my demos, then make sure you order this palette as soon as possible because it is so cute. It's $32 too, which is such an amazing price point for four eyeshadows. $32. So good. Okay. So anyway, let's do this. So we actually had one of these palettes before and I had, I want you to be able to see it, but I'm also like trying not to hurt myself. I am very... Um, a little bit aggressive with things and sometimes I like accidentally will stab myself with knives and things on accident because I'm trying to just do things very quickly. So I'm going to try to be a little bit patient here. I'm going to pull this right off. Okay. I've gotten some of the glue loosened up down here. I've never busted a palette open before. My sister-in-law actually did this last with our warm hues palette. If you remember that palette, it was so cute. I loved the colors in there. It was a, I think there were six colors in that one. Five or six. I can't remember right off the top of my head. But anyway, it was really a pretty palette we had a couple years ago. And I remember her telling me that she did this. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. Because they're all still tin. And they all still are going to stick just like your regular palette. Or just like your regular eyeshadows. Okay, can you see this? I hope you're, you've been able to see this. So I've just been sticking the scissors right underneath so that I can make sure that I pop this off properly here. Once we get this off, then we're gonna be able to pull them out. Bear with me. Okay, I can't believe I'm destroying something so pretty, but the results are gonna be so worth it. It's all gonna be together. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over to the back side now. And we've got it, it's kind of in like a little cardboard box. Let's go ahead, I'm pulling off all my edges. We're going to rip this right off. Here we go. All right. Now I see, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to pop them out. This is, this is going to be so fun. Okay, so I might be able to, oh, tweezers would have been a really good thing to have right here. Tweezers. I don't have tweezers on me, but tweezers would have been a really good thing to have. Maybe if I just play with it a little bit, they'll pop out. Tweezers, you could pick this right out though. So that would be, if I'm uh, telling the next person how to do this, I'm telling you to get tweezers. Okay, so I'm just kind of bending it. I'm gonna get some of these sides to pop up. Ho, 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 here we go. Got it. Burgundy crown is up first. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull off the back the piece of cardboard and the little bit of glue we have back here. Okay, maybe. Okay. All right, maybe I'm not. One way I actually know for sure to get glue off of things is if you have, if you love essential oils, I love essential oils. So I might do this after I got, get off the live. Um, actually, let me try my scissors first. But one thing that I love 
to do with essential oils is I really like to use the lemon one on anything that has like glue that's stuck to it. So if you've ever bought something too and it has the price sticker that's stuck to the side and you can't figure out how to get the price sticker off, I know I've done that so many times, especially if you ever shop at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you know how they always put their stickers on everything? Well, an easy way to get those off is using lemon essential oils. It will pull the glue right off. I don't know how it does it, but it almost like dissolves the glue. It makes it so there's no stickiness left on there either. So that's what I'm going to do with these after I get done with this video. But now we have the burgundy crown and we have the iconic pink. And check this out. You can just pop them right in because they are magnetic. So they're just going to sit right in here perfectly like the other eyeshadows let's go ahead and get the other two out now i cracked those other ones really nicely so they were able to pop right out let's see how we can get these ones out because they're still kind of glued down let me rip this part off i'm making such a mess but it's going to be so worth it because i love to travel with my palette. So if you like to just have one palette and that's it, then if this is a great way, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be able to rip, ha, ah, look at that, I got it all off the back of this one. So this one was the, hang on, Pink Diamonds, that's what this one is. It's that whitish one, okay. I'm gonna put it right next to it, right over here. Let's just slide these over just a hair so then they can all fit. Perfect. Okay. Look at that. So cute. Um, if you like all your colors to fit in one palette though, this is a great way to do it just to make sure that everything's all going to fit in one palette. You only have to take one palette when you're traveling or if you just like everything to be all compacted and in one thing, you can put all your eyeshadows, blushes, contours, highlighters, everything all in one, or you can separate them too. I do have multiple palettes. Um, I like to just have different options and I kind of just switch it up as I, uh, as I go. So this one is sticking up a little bit because I still have that glue on the back. These two I got off nicely, but this burgundy one is still sticking up a little bit just because I still have that glue back there. So that's why it looks a little bit off, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Um, let's see if we can fit. Maybe not. Let me move some eyeshadows. So again, I like to redo this every every now and then, every few months. So right now I'm just gonna kind of move these around just to make them fit properly and we can fill this bad boy right back up. But anyway, you can choose if you want your palette to be full of all just eyeshadows or if you want to kind of mix it up and do multiple things all at the same time in the same palette, that's up to you. Um, I do have multiple palettes, I like Sometimes I like them all in one. Sometimes I separate them and I do my blushes and my contours all together. And then I'll put like limited edition things that were left over. Um, or I'll do all eyeshadows. You can choose however you want your palette to be. But when I'm traveling, okay, maybe I can't fit these down here though. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Um, so when I'm traveling though, I want everything to be all in the same palette. It just makes it so much easier. It makes that I don't have to um, worry about the fact that like, do I have everything with me? Did I bring all my, my colors with me? So I like to put everything all in one palette when I travel. That's just my tip. That's um, how I like to do it. But that does not mean that you have to do it like that. You can do it however you want. All right, so I'm just sliding all these colors right over here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put back in two blushes. Or I'll do a blush and a highlighter on this side. So check this out. It's full again of my blush, my highlighter, all the eyeshadows, and then check this out. They're all up there. So now they are in the palette, just like the rest of my eyeshadows. You can also see they're about a size and a half, I would say. So an eyeshadow and a half, that, that's how much product is there. Again, $32 for four eyeshadows. So it is a great deal to buy them when they are in these little palettes and then you can just keep them just like this. So anyway, that is my little tip for you today. You can absolutely break your palette. <laughs> you can destroy your palette and you can pull out all your colors 
because they are magnetic and they will fit in your palette with the rest of your eyeshadows and the rest of your makeup. So if this was helpful, go ahead and let me know down below that you enjoyed this video, that you enjoyed this little tutorial. It's a little bit different than the typical tutorials that I might usually offer, um, but I loved the idea and I love the idea of it being all compacted and not having to take multiple palettes with me. So go ahead and let me know what you think about this down below in the description. If you want to order these products, let me know. You can shop off my website and um, you can also shoot me a message. I'm on Instagram and I'm also on TikTok and Facebook. Find me in all those locations. And again, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, make sure you subscribe before you leave for this video, before this video is over. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me and I'll see you back here next time. Bye!